students so welcome to the channel so today we are going to talk about the antihistamines and the mechanism of action of antihistaminic that is h1 receptor before going to the uh, going on to the um, direct mechanism of action we just discuss about uh, we just discuss some points about the histamine so actually what is histamine synthesize in our golgi apparatus of mast cell and it is the one of mediator involved in allergic responses and plays an important role in regulation of the secretion of gastric acid it is synthesized by the amino acid that is from histidine so now we are talking about the synthesis of histamine so histamine is synthesized from the histidine that is your amino acid presence of histidine carboxylase there is a reduction of co2 so at last there is the formation of the histamine so histamine is a or it is named as 2 imidazole 4 il ethyl amine
so these are the common property uh, these are the some information about the histamine now we will discuss the uh, the uh, uh, distribution of the receptors that is h1 h2 h3 that if, uh, uh, where these receptors are present in our body so we discuss the distribution in body and what are the action mediated means uh, where they are present and what are the actions of these receptors so first is h1 h1 is present in smooth muscles and the smooth uh, muscles are present in your intestine and airway and uterus what do they do they do the contraction it's an uh, action of h1 receptor in smooth muscles now second is blood vessel in blood vessel first one is endothelium and what will in, uh, happen in endothelium it release the nitric oxide and pgi2 and what will they do the vasodilation it's an action next one is smooth muscle of larger vessels in blood vessels smooth muscles and what they do they get the constrict means vasoconstriction now the third one is now in now endings means h1 receptor is present in now endings in the action is stimulation fourth one is ganglionic cell fifth one is your adrenal medulla and it release catecholamines release catecholamines c is catecholamines last one is it is present in brain and it act as a transmitter it is an action transmitter so this is all about h1 receptor now talking about the h2 receptors that where are the h2 receptors are present and what they do h2 receptors are present in what they do they do the secretion acid secretion acid secretion next is blood vessel and in blood vessel they get dilate dilation occurs third one is it is present in heart in atria in atria there is a action that is positive chronotrophy and ventricles in ventricles the action is positive ionotropy
नेक्स्ट इज इट इज प्रेजेंट इन यूट्रस इन यूट्रस देर इज अ रिलैक्सेशन fifth one is brain it is present in our brain and in brain it act as a transmitter now the third one is h3 receptor h3 receptors are present in brain and it does the inhibition of histamine release which leads to the sedation second it is present in lung spleen and skin and your gastric mucosa in this it decrease the histamine release decrease histamine release next is it is present in the blood vessels in this it inhibit the noradrenaline which ultimately cause the vasodilation so students in this we just share a introduction introduction about the histamine now next video is for the the now next video is the mechanism of action of h1 antagonist